Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Lowry at Home. I'm your host, Naturalist Herc. Now, before we go any further, a bit of a correction. On last Monday's show, I said that it was the final show of the fall season. You know, I think all the snow falling down and the cold sort of have my brain not working right now. I was thinking, oh yeah, you know, we're into winter. It's still fall, you guys. We've got four more episodes, including this one right here as part of our fall season before we really start winter. It is fall. We have a fall topic for you today. That's why I'm up here on my deck because I wanted to point something out up above me on the eaves of my house right up. Where is it? Where is it? Right there. Oh, right there. Oh, oh, what? Oh, I can't point in reverse. It's right there, okay? That is a bald-faced hornet nest up there, and that is what uh, Mr. Brett is going to be talking to us about today on today's show. So, to learn more about things like that, let's talk to Mr. Brett. Go ahead, take it away, Brett. Hey there, it's Brett out here, the Lowry Nation. Again, yes, as Kirk pointed out, and as you well know by now, if you're watching, yes, this is another edition of Lowry at Home. Now, it is November. The leaves have fallen down. They were covered with snow. The snow has melted, and a few more leaves have fallen down. But now that the trees are kind of standing all around us, and you can see this without their leaves, we get a peek at what's maybe been hiding in the canopy all summer long. And sometimes, if you get really lucky, you find, like, you find what we found out here last week. Look at this. Oh my goodness, it is bigger than my head. You may recognize this. Yes, this is, and I know right away, like, hey, isn't that one of those bee things? Not a bee thing. It's a hornet thing, and I know hornets and bees are like, well, aren't those kind of the same? A little, but they're different. This is a bald-faced hornet's nest. Now, before it was this, let's back up, and I'll explain why it's there now. The end of last summer, the queen in the hive stopped laying worker eggs, started laying male and fertile queen eggs. They hatched, went through the life cycle. When they came out as adults, left the hive, mated, the males died, the queen went and found a log in the forest to hide under all winter. And that's where she sat throughout all the cold months. As the ground got hard, as the snow fell, when the snow melted, when the ground thawed, out she came and she went off to lay eggs. Once she laid eggs, those were going to become her first round of workers. She fed the larvae. She got them through the pupa stage and to an adult. And then they set off in the forest to find a place to build this. Mind you, something she has never done before. Like that part to me just blows my mind. How on earth do they build this amazingly intricate structure without any sort of set of instructions. I bought furniture from Ikea and had instruction booklet and struggled to put it together. They didn't even have that. So this outside is all, listen, it's papery. Thought is that maybe a few thousand years ago, this is where we got the idea from paper. They're chewing on the bark of the trees, mixing it around with their spit, and then they spit it out. And they start, of course, up on the very tip top part of the branch. And the hive is not very big to start because it's a small group of hornets. As she continues to lay worker eggs, the hive gets bigger and it gets bigger and the workers continue to build. When it's up and running full go, up to 400 of them could be in this hive. Now, the other part about this that blows me away, not that they've never done it before, but also they don't have hands. They don't have this magical king thing called a thumb. They've got chewy mouth parts and little bitty legs, and somehow they build this multi-level bee, sorry, hornet-like apartment complex that is all these layers, all these places for the queen to lay eggs. It is absolutely amazing. And again, though, the summer winds down. We covered this. The queen stops laying worker eggs, male and fertile female eggs. They leave. Old age gets the queen and the workers along with the cold. As the queen goes, the hive kind of dissipates. The few workers that are left eventually leave because no one's left there to give them any signals. And then eventually when that first hard frost, hard freeze comes, the workers go. But remember, the new queen, she's already out in the forest and she's hiding. So keep your eyes up in the trees this time of year. The leaves are down. There are treasure in the treetops to be found. And really just get out. Enjoy the amazing weather. Have a great week. We'll see you next time out here at the Lowry Nature Center. Thank you, Brett, for all that awesome information about bald-faced hornets. And thank you uh, to all of you for tuning in today. Hope to see you back next Monday for another Lowry at Home. Be sure to stick around here and check out on the screen a list of up-and-coming programs. 
for uh, the fall season here. Lots of fun stuff going on out at La Renee Center. Also, be sure to send us your photos of what you're seeing out there. We haven't gotten any photos in a little bit. We want to uh, kind of freshen up our slideshow at the beginning of the show for our pre-show countdown. If you want to have your photo in there, go ahead and uh, send it to the address. It's going to appear on the bottom of the screen uh, during the credits here, and uh, maybe you can get your picture in our slideshow. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great day.